what's your best tip you could give someone starting off at YouTube? I think the most important when you start is to think about how you can make your channels and video coming up consistently so that you know you're able to produce maybe one video a week, maybe one a month if really you have to spend a lot of time. But then you know that every week, every month, you can do more, more content. So people have a reason to come back to your channel if they like it and when they like it. So you give them an incentive to uh, come back frequently and subscribe. Starting YouTube is, is tough. It's tough to get an uh, audience. If you dedicate yourself on YouTube, you can get a good yeah, audience. And, and my tip is, uh, I guess, if you share your video on, uh, on Facebook, Facebook pages like Facebook groups of Clash of Clans, Clash Royale or whatever your content is about. Right? That's the best tip I would say is like just be uh, dedicated to, to your channel and make like content every day or every week but be regular and uh, keep posting and don't, don't give up. Yeah, well people ask all the time and like I would give the, the you know the pretty generic advice. It's pretty corny, but it's like what everybody would give. You got to be yourself, and you got to have fun, and like you know you, you really got to think about what that means to you. But um, like having fun for me, like I started out doing a lot of tutorials. So I was talking about like how to farm Dark Elixir and Clash of Clans, stuff like that. And after a while, you know that was very fun. But after a while, I wanted to switch it up. That's what was fun to me. So I just sort of followed that and did more let's plays, just joking around, and you know. You, you gotta follow like what you're having fun with at the time and everybody else follows you. That's the way you know it, it has to go. You do what you like and it shows through. So that's what it means. Just have fun. I think that the the best thing for sure is to create good content. I mean content of videos that you want to, to watch. But uh, I think that uh, being constant and trying to upload on a regular basis it's important on YouTube. To, to create a community, so that would be my advice. I think when I first started, I had um, the need or the desire to be perfect, so I like wanted to edit things like just very meticulously and be like very perfect in my videos. Now, if I mess up, I mess up. You know, that's uh, it's part of being human, and I like um, the organic nature of those videos and how they how they respond. Um, and then also just talking about like um, managing your expectations because when I started I didn't think I was going to blow up over overnight. Um, I started with the purpose of like teaching people how to play the game and um, people thought I was very informative and they start to like share your videos just organically. Um, and then from there, you know, like I said, I don't really have like big dreams of like hitting like X, X amount of subscribers. I just want to keep, you know, getting to know people, getting to teach people and just having fun too. So like having a... a brand where you know people are excited to just watch me and make my videos help them feel be feel better at the end of the day. You really should pay attention to your thumbnail. It's the first thing your your public will see. If you uh, dedicate to making good thumbnails, beautiful thumbnails, you probably will call the attention for your video and maybe you can get you can get a big chat. So if I had to give you guys one piece of advice if you wanted to become a Clash of Clans or Clash Royale YouTuber, it would definitely be to make new and original content. There's already so many people making the same types of videos, chest openings, uh, Let's Play series like I do, and if you're a newer channel, it's definitely hard to get discovered when you make videos that have already been made. But for example, if you make new and original content, such as Orange Juice, he's a Clash Royale channel that made these awesome luring guides and counters to cards such as the Baby Dragon, uh, the Prince, and overall he started getting discovered, I think on like the Clash Royale subreddit, eventually leading to his channel being shared inside of the game where he got like 25,000 subscribers in a single day. Uh, so obviously that's a one-off case, but but if you guys make new and original content, better chance you get discovered, better chance uh, other creators want to help you out, and overall, I think it's your best shot at having success on YouTube. Video tags, that's important. Um, try to understand the concept of the tags, trying to understand how people can search and look for your video. It's so, so important on YouTube. Um, the way that you select the tags is how easy people are going to be able to find your videos, so that I will definitely recommend people to spend some time read about it see what is more important what kind of a tax are more uh, popular or probably they're described better your content I think that is probably one of the best advices I can give you
Uh, the best tip would be what I did myself. I basically was playing Supercell games. I looked at the biggest channels, which was like Chief Pat basically when I was starting out. And I was like, all right, this is what Pat's doing. And he's huge and being really successful with it. And I looked and I was like, all right, I, I know I can make these videos. I'd say find someone you look up to and pick one thing you can do even better than what they're doing or just invest more time into it. And for me, it was just like uh, intense video editing or like crazy animations and stuff. So make videos that like you're super proud of, but find like one thing you can improve on that everyone else is already doing. So that's my pro tip. And the name of the channel, in my, in my opinion, is so important. Make a name with your personality, not to not with the name of the game like I did. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I learned did. before. Uh, make a name with your personality, not with a name of the game, a name of a car, a name of a lot of things. Use your name, use your personality. That's my opinion. Well, from my own experience, if you're just starting, you're gonna make, um, do videos that you want to do, do videos that you would like to see. And if you like it, then other people will. I think that just is something naturally that follows. If you like enjoying seeing your own videos, then you'll have that audience that you'll bring uh, that enjoy the same types that you do. Well, I think a big part about what helps grow a channel early is that interactivity in social media and with the channel itself. Uh, I prided myself on as long as I could with keeping up with the comments and reading all of the comments and responding to as many as I could to have that interaction with your audience uh, makes a big difference. I think live streaming is the same way. If you can combine that with your videos, I think it can take your channel that much further. Okay, so I think it's very important to have an idea about the type of content you want to make. And if you've got any idea for a video, just make sure you write down every single idea and then get back to the ideas that you had in the past and then make videos based off those ideas. And then later you're gonna be getting more ideas, you write those down and eventually you'll have enough content to basically get you going for a lifetime. Starting a YouTube channel, in my opinion, it's um, your purpose behind it. Uh, when you do something that you love and you start it as a hobby or something like that, and you don't have ul ulterior motives, then generally um, you have more passion behind it and things like that. Like the majority of us, I would say almost all of us, didn't start it to make money, didn't do it to be successful, didn't do it to be celebrities if you will but we started because it's something we enjoyed and we pursued it for that purpose um, and it's when you when you do that and when you base it off of your love for something not the love of being recognized or making money or anything like that that's when you're gonna put more into it um, I think than somebody who has a goal of becoming famous or anything like that Starting a YouTube channel is really hard at the beginning. It's really hard to get noticed. Uh, the best way that I did it was help the community first by making tutorials or how-tos or tips on a certain game. And then when they find those videos, because they're highly searchable, they also get to know your personality as well. Compared to Let's Plays, people aren't really searching for those videos. Uh, and they might stumble upon them, but they're not really searching for them. So uh, yeah, so help the community first, I believe, and um, they will come to you and then they'll stay because of your personality and your quality videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed everyone's tips in this video. I'll put all the YouTubers in the description below so you can check out their channels. So make sure you smack that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I hope you guys have a great YouTube channel journey. Thank you.